This is actually in my pocket, pure caffeine. If you were to eat this, you would be very, very sick indeed. But do you know how much caffeine is actually in your food and drink? We're going to play a little game of play cards, right? We've got various caffeine-related products here, and your job is to go higher or lower, depending on how much caffeine you think is, is in the product. And I'll start you off, the nation's favourite cup of tea, 50 milligrams, in a cup of tea about that big. So what do we think for a cola? Higher or lower? Higher! It's lower. So what about diet cola? Lower. Lower, we think. It's higher. Yeah. You're all wrong. OK, a lovely dark chocolate bar. What do we think for the whole thing? Bit of 50-50 there. Quite a lot higher, actually. Surprising, that, I thought. Now, when we think of caffeine, of course, we all think of coffee. Yeah, what do we think? Higher than 100 milligrams? For a mug that size of filter coffee, it's not instant. It's Who thinks higher? It's higher. Now, strong paracetamol, the extra kind for eight of those bad boys, which is your maximum daily dose. Higher, higher. Most people think higher. It is, amazingly, a whacking 520 milligrams. That's a lot. Who knew that? This is one of these sort of uh, energy drinks. Higher than the paracetamol or lower? Higher. You get tonight's star prize, which is a handshake from me. And what about the espresso, which you might have after your meal or in the morning? Higher than 80. It's lower than 80. So you all did pretty badly, I reckon. You're all pretty rubbish. We all know caffeine can give us a boost when we need it, but do you know why it does that? Jem is playing the part of a nerve here, working hard, firing electrical signals around the body. The harder he rows, the brighter these lights get. Now, when you're tired, your brain produces a very useful chemical. In your hands, you've got a chemical called adenosine, all right? So what I'd like you to do is tire him out by throwing your adenosine molecules at him. <laughs> and hopefully they should stick. When adenosine attaches, the nerve slows down, making your muscles and brain slow down and making you sleepy. But when you've had a caffeine hit... Now, here's the thing. Caffeine molecule, yeah, is a similar shape to the adenosine molecule. They bind on and block the receptors on the neuron here, like this. So now, try and uh, make him sleepy. So he's had his coffee, and now, of course, the adenosine doesn't <laughs> stick on. <laughs> oh, what's yeah! up? Oh, I'm sorry, there we go. It's slightly tired, but not very much. But there's a double whammy. What happens is the body thinks there's something happening here because I should be feeling tired, I'm not feeling tired, and it produces the hormone adrenaline. You all know what adrenaline is. And that's what gears you up, all that adrenaline. So when you have a lot of caffeine, that's what gives you the coffee buzz. Keep drinking a lot of coffee and your nerves will compensate by growing extra adenosine receptors, and you'll have to drink even more coffee to get that buzz.